Okay, right quick, I'd like to start by saying that I'm not a religious person. Well, not yet anyway, because I've just got too many unanswered questions. But at the same time, I've quit believing everything that I've been taught because we're being lied to by everyone from all angles. They're all actors posing as experts. But anyway, let's get on with this. Let's take this image of the moon, courtesy of NASA. If we flip it, rotate it, throw in some continents, and then you'll start to see what I'm talking about. If we use this white crater here as the North Pole, which all compasses point to for some reason, drawing some lines, there's Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and then there's the Americas. Now this is just, a, well the whole thing is a theory, but this is a, like a side theory that maybe whatever smashed down there, what meteor, an asteroid, was so magnetically powerful that the metal it's made from just attracts all our compasses. Anyway, this bit here is no longer there, so maybe that was Lemuria. And over on this side, same thing, Atlantis. That's why, if anything, I think that this would be an ancient map of the world as opposed to current. Because if we zoom in on this section, the Americas, there's North America and South America. This crater ties in with what we see on Earth. This is the supposed, supposedly the same one that wiped out the dinos. If you know that theory, which I'm sure everyone's familiar with. These, what we call on Earth, continents, are on the moon called seas. This would be the Sea of Serenity, Africa, Eurasia, Sea of Tranquility, South America, the Sea of Nectar, for some reason, Australia, the Sea of Crisis, and then this lost continent, the Sea of fertility so why is it just all a coincidence crazy coincidence if you ask me anyway you tell me